Many people thought it would be Paolo Bancaro who would change everything for the Orlando Magic, and trust me, he does change a lot. But when you have a dynamic 6'10 forward who can do what Franz Wagner does, it truly elevates your team to a whole nother level. The Orlando Magic are a lucky team to have such a special talent like Franz, and so far he has not disappointed. Bringing so much value to this team, his IQ at such a young age is simply amazing as he's able to notice that Siakam is gunning to overplay the screen, so just by planting hard and going back the other way, this sends Siakam totally out of the play, it brings Wendell's man out to him, and now he can wrap this pass around with little to no space for a Carter slam. This amount of poise paired with his court vision helps him in many ways, so when he starts tying it in with that handle, well that's when you get these drives where Wagner can change directions shifting the defender, attack the paint aggressively, and then spin off to drop in a hook float over the top of the defender. With a guy his size being able to score efficiently, pass the ball like a wizard, defend multiple positions, and then go punch it home on the defense, it just shows you that he is bound for a breakout year for the Orlando Magic. At the completion of the 2022-23 season, Franz put up 18 points, 4 rebounds and 3 assists on shooting splits of 48% from the field and 36% from deep range. Now the averages look pretty good by themselves, but when you line them up against all second year players in the league who played at least 70 games, you get to see how well he actually played. Franz was 2nd in points per game right behind Jalen Green, 5th in assists per game, and 6th in rebounds per game. So when just looking at the sheer numbers, it shows you Franz is a solid player for sure, but if you flipped on a TV on any given night and watched Franz operate on the court, you could see his play was far more valuable than what the numbers would suggest. For most of the year before the emergence of Markel Fultz, the Orlando Magic didn't have a true floor general, but that's where Franz came in handy. His passing skills went under the radar the most, but his ability to set up teammates for great looks at the basket was more than needed. When collapsing the defense, it opened up many opportunities for these nice dump off passes to teammates cutting or floating near the rim. And it's only possible because of his ability to drive the ball so strong and make quick decisions while on the move. Even when Franz attracts the double on the sideline here, he's able to split right through to get a foot in the paint. And while Siakam is ball watching hard, it's an easy wraparound to Fultz on the backside for the layup. Other times, Franz might play a little game of now you see it, now you don't. As he drops into the paint, he shows the ball for a quick second on the pass fake, but then wraps it behind the defender's back so Schofield can go lay it home. I'm telling you, time and time again, Franz can make the right decision on these passes, and to the naked eye, you might miss out on some of these little things that he does, but if you notice here after coming off the handoff, Wagner slows down with a hezzy so Turner would commit to him fully, and once this happens, he can now lob this over the top to Carter running the route, making for a nice alley-oop connection. By having that patience to wait for the play to develop, these openings will eventually present themselves and even when it seems like there's no way to slip it through, we'll think twice because Franz has other plans in store. It'll be plays like this where initially nothing's really open, so instead of just chucking up a shot or forcing a bad pass, Wagner will retreat back, plant, and then use that pivot to turn around and then find his brother on the cut to the basket for the two-handed punch. Already you can see how effective Franz can be when he makes a defense sink or if guys are just cutting around him and it doesn't only just show up on these plays because if we look at his on and off court stats, the Magic have an offensive rating of 111 when Franz is on the court versus when he's off the court it's at a 107. And then when we look at the team's assist averages as well, it sits at 16 when Franz is on the floor versus when he's off the court it's only at 7. Wait, 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 wait. I already know there's going to be those comments that say those numbers are skewed because he spends way more time on the court than off. But hey, look here, doesn't that kind of prove the point that I'm trying to make? It furthermore just shows that when Wagner is out there, he helps the team play at a better level and you get a ton of value from him during his minutes spent on the floor. Now is this tremendous value all because of his passing skills? Nah, not in totality. Because when he's not facilitating the rock, then here comes these sharp slices through the defense where at times it might look a little funky, but nonetheless, they are calculated and served with some finesse. When you see a guy his size moving so fluid and rather quick, it makes you do a little eyebrow raise and lean up in your seat just a little bit. The defense can try to cut him off on his route to the basket, get physical with him on the drives, or all out just crowd him on the attack, but none of these really phase Franz as he has something in his arsenal to combat whatever the defense throws at him. On his nearly 11 drops to the basket a game, these rank Wagner at third in the league amongst all second year players, and on six shot attempts off these, Franz converted at nearly 50% which puts him at number one in conversion rate amongst all players who at least attempted five shots or more. So whether you like it or not, this German forward is special when it comes to carving a lane for himself to the rim. When defenders try to anticipate his next move and beat him to the spot, well Franz can pair the Euro in with these long strides to get around them and then stay focused to convert inside. It's not really often you see guys this early in their career make adjustments like this on the fly, but for Franz, this is just a staple in his game. His fluidity on these Euros is second to none and he all out makes defenders look lost when he dishes them out. 
You'll see drops where he aggressively attacks the paint at a certain angle and then BAM! Once the defender turns his hips that way, Franz immediately shifts directions and slips it in with the inside hand. There's also a place where instead of just shifting the defender completely, Wagner will use his 36-10 frame to just body a defender before euroing into the paint and this makes for an easy one in close. Trust me, take my word for it, it's not every day you see a guy his size move the way he does and it translates right into his crafty finishing in a major way. When we look at the numbers on all driving layups and dunks, Franz converted 54% of his 287 field goal attempts and although this number isn't necessarily breathtaking, well when you see some of these finishes, it's more than breathtaking to say the least. He can get to the basket at will at any time and once the defender shifts over to help at the rim, well Franz can just adjust in midair to split right through to go finish on the other side of the rim with some English. His agile playstyle can just be too much for bigs to keep up with, so when he gets inside and they assume he will go straight up on the left side, well he catches them off guard as he can stretch out to the other side using the rim as protection and spin this off the glass for 2 points. The finishes honestly get crazier and crazier once Franz gets in his rhythm and that's when you'll see these wild and ones where Wagner's whole entire body is turned the other way and he can just toss this up over his head to drop it in and go to the line for one more. I know right, your eyes are probably wide open and your jaw is probably dropped as we sit here and analyze his rather crafty slashing skills. He truly gives the defense a run for their money on any given night with these acrobatic finishes and right when they think they have him solved, well here comes these shifty moves that throw the defenders for a complete loop. More than confident enough to bust out the handle, Franz takes it at a smaller RJ Barrett and once hitting that elbow area, he uses that spin move to get to the other side of the lane and then uses those long two steps to go put two on the board. Now I'm not here to say that his handle is the tightest, the shiftiest, or most eye catching but with his great fundamentals and footwork it makes his attacks that much more deadly. At times you'll see these weird moves from Franz or shall I say unorthodox movements but you can't lie. When he plants hard off the drive and spins back the other way making the defender go on vacation it kinda has to make you nod your head in improvement. This inside scoring versatility is a great thing to see from a second year player and with his passing and driving being the main key aspects of his game. Franz has so much potential to capitalize on going forward. Not only can he dissect the defense from the inside, but from deep Franz knocked down 36% of his 4 attempts per game and then when we look at his catch and shoot numbers, Wagner reined in 40% of his nearly 3 attempts per game. So to say he's only an inside scorer would be an understatement because he can space the floor as well with the 3 point shot and he's also looking pretty comfortable in that mid range as long as he can up the percentages. Going into his third year in the league, things look mighty bright for Franz Wagner and I'm very interested to see how this Orlando Magic team will do next season. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like before heading over to watch this K Cunningham analysis. I thank you all for your support and I'll see you in the next video.